All right, guys, welcome back. I'm just going to show you real quick how to uh, get a song out of Ableton and onto Google Drive so that you can transfer it to either yourself in another computer or uh, to, to a friend for a collaboration project. So first of all, if you go into Ableton, you guys probably already know this, but you can always see all, all the songs that you've worked on by going to File, Open Recent Set, and in order of the very top being the most recent, it shows all the songs you've worked on. I think it's got a, a max limit, like 20 songs or however much this is, but uh, pretty much you, you go to the song you want, and if you guys scroll down, because the big thing is you need to know where your songs are actually located, right? Like what folders. And obviously you've got the File Explorer down here, or you could always you know go into Windows here to find File Explorer. And in that, you've pretty much got uh, all your folders, right? And for me, I, I personally, in my music folder right here, I have uh, a folder called Tyler Songs, you know, where I make sure to save all my Ableton projects. But some of you may not know where they're at. So to find out, first of all, where your project's located, go into Ableton, open up your project from the recent list, and then if you scroll down, you'll see this folder right here called Current Project under this Places section. So Current Project, and notice, this is kind of off, off topic, but you've got a folder in here called Backup. These are backups of all the versions of your song that you saved. So each time you go to save your song, it saves a copy and actually puts the date right here for you. It even saves a backup of each track. So if you, if say, if you kind of screwed up a song and you want to go back to, you know, one of the one of the tracks how it was before, you can actually go in here and um, go to the date and go and find the exact track or instrument and even the clip that you want. So each clip is saved as a separate file right here. So, and you would just drag and drop this back into one of these to back it up or to to bring back to restore from an old backup. But I digress, um, pretty much if you right click on your current project right here, so right click on this, and you see it says right here show and explore. Explorer always means the file explorer, which is basically your folders. So if you click on this, it's going to actually open up to exactly where your project is. And notice an Ableton project isn't just this one ALS file or Ableton live set. If you guys haven't noticed, you know the files are always labeled as dot ALS. So dot ALS is basically Ableton's songs, okay? But it's not just one file by itself. It's kind of annoying, but the the the, the song actually stores a lot of the data and the samples and the recordings you're making here in these other folders. There's I don't have one here, but there's actually a folder here that would be called samples if I had recorded anything with a microphone or if I had basically brought in a, a sample that's a .mp3 or .wav file into my song. And so when you get a project, you can't just grab this one .als file. You have to grab all of this. So if you notice, this, this project is located here in this Tyler Songs folder, which is located here in Music and in my E drive. So this kind of tells you the path of where your, your music saved. And so if I go back one step to this Tyler Songs, Keep, understand that I've got all these different project folders in Ableton and what I've noticed a lot of you do and you probably don't even realize it is when you go and save a new song a lot of times you're actually saving it within a previous songs project folder so here in this project folder you could actually have you know 10 20 songs here in the same folder but you wouldn't realize it because you know you, you didn't you don't necessarily tell it to save in a previous songs project folder but Ableton does that anyways which is kind of annoying because a lot of people don't realize it but Pretty much this whole folder, this entire project folder, is what I want to grab if I want to get my song, okay? And so I've got this project folder. I'm going to go into Google Drive, and if you guys don't already have a special folder for your music and your Ableton songs, go ahead and create one. You can create one by just you know, going to New Folder and call it, you know, your name, Ableton Songs. Create that, and it will create it in your Google Drive sort by date last modified and I may, and you can see there's the new folder Tyler Ableton songs so I double click on it to go inside of it or not basically once you go inside this folder all you're gonna do is drag and drop your project folder so if I resize this a little bit you just drag and drop this project folder into either my drive right here, or if 
the folder actually opens up, which mine doesn't want to open up right now, you would actually drag it into this area. But for now, let's go ahead and drag this folder, click and drag into my drive. And so, and you'll see it basically will we'll begin the upload process. Um, usually you'll see a little box right here saying that it's uploading the song. And then once you go to this recent section of Google Drive, oh yeah, it finally went into the, the folder. So here's the folder, finally went into it. And I would just click this project, drag it into this area right here. So you can either drag to my drive and then transfer it to this folder, or just drag, go into the folder and drag it in right here. And it's not doing it on my computer, but usually down in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, you'll see a little box that says uploading. And once it's done, basically, you go to the computer that you want to download your song to, or have your friend, you know, so say you have it now here in the, your recent uh, section of Google Drive. You would just right click, click share, and then you can actually click on, uh, or you can click on get shareable link. Right click, get shareable link. It copies the link to the clipboard. So then you go, say, to an email and send an email to your friend, basically saying, here's the link. So right click, paste and email your friend or yourself and now if they click that link it will basically open up to that file and then on that computer that you opened it up in Google Drive on you basically just find it right click on the folder and click download now when you when you download that Ableton folder your song folder your project folder it will download it as a zip file and a zip file is made up of multiple files that are all kind of mashed together to save space on your on the internet or on the computer but the idea is once you download a zip file you actually have to unzip it or extract it to be able to actually open the fold the files inside of it so if I go to my downloads folder after I downloaded that Ableton project you'll see it'll be it'll look just like this where it's it looks like a folder but see how it has a little zipper on it that means this is a zip file and if I look over here at the type, you can see it says right here, compressed or zipped folder. So to unzip it, you basically just right click and you click on extract all. So again, this is going to be your Ableton project folder that you uploaded to Google Drive and then went back to Google Drive, downloaded it, right click and downloaded the entire folder. And then when you get the zip file, you right click and you click on extract all. So extract all. And you'll see a box like this pop up. This is just saying, hey, do you want us to create a brand new folder in this same location with all these files? So basically, I, I'm here in the downloads folder. It's going to create a folder here, a new folder, and put all these files inside of it. And you can change this location if you want. If you want, you, you have a special you know, music folder on this computer that you're now logged into, you can go find it right here and then extract to that spot. But for now, I'm just going to extract right here. So click extract. And once this is done, you'll see up here now in the same folder, there's this folder with the exact same name as this one, but notice this one has a zipper, this one doesn't. So that's what you need to do to open up a zip file. A lot of people, when they see a zip file like this, they just double click it, and that's not what you want to do. You want to actually extract or unzip it so that all the contents of that folder are, are you know, uncompressed. So now if I go into this, double click, if this was an Ableton project, I would go now and find the .als or um, Ableton Live set file, double click it, and it should open. And let me know if you have any issues with that.